Moving on, several houses have been burned in ongoing clashes in Wajir just hours after the government deployed the Kenya Defense Forces to man five major roads in Mandera and Wajir counties. The clashes between two communities in the two counties started two weeks ago and it seems to be escalating with residents fleeing their homes. KTN's Ian Wafula is on the ground and now joins us from Wajir County. We're coming to you live from Awajia County. We've just been at the burial of 12 people, the 12 people who were killed during a clash that uh, took place at the border of Awajia and Mandera counties. Uh, it is said that two communities have been clashing and uh, the, the attack that left 12 dead is seen as a revenge. And uh, these communities, uh, it is said that a, a group of gunmen stormed into a village in it's called Ganan village and sprayed bullets killing all 12 of them now today at during the burial we could only count 11 bodies because the 12th body uh, was only it was only the head that uh, was found so we could only count 11 bodies what came out clear while the leaders were addressing the uh, members of the public who are there is that they called on the government to come and intervene on this uh, serious issue Issue. and uh, they say that these two regions have been uh, neglected and the six and the six leaders are also calling for the resignation of interior cabinet, cabinet secretary joseph olelenku they say that for many years they have been uh, neglected and so they're asking the president to do something if not they say that they uh, will opt to support the opposition leader uh, come 2017 also, it, it, has, it has also occurred that over 30 people from both the communities have died since these clashes started. Just before more lives are taken. Also important to note is that during the burial, uh, we could uh, we were able to see smoke coming from uh, a few kilometers away, and uh, I was able to understand that this smoke uh, was uh, coming from uh, at least 20 houses that were being burnt at the time. So um, serious matters are happening here, and uh, indeed the government needs to come in and uh, help uh, the people here of in Wajir County. Among the leaders we had Aidan Kanan. We also had. Um, Abbas Mohammed, we had Mohammed Elmi, we had Abdi Kari and uh, Fatma Ibrahim all saying, they were all saying that they are sending us a message to Interior Cabinet Secretary Ole Lenku to come and intervene. The police in this area have also been uh, blamed for failing to intervene because as I understand, police were uh, there before the clashes happened but uh, it was not clear as to why they let this happen maybe because they were overwhelmed by the numbers of gunmen or um, it is still not clear we shall be updating you through the day back to you studio